Fishing Derby was released for the Atari 2600 by Activision in 1980. You play as a fisherman who is in competition with another fisherman to see who can catch the most fish in shark infested waters. Although actually it's only one shark and he's hanging out in a shallow territory seeing as how both guys are sitting out on the docks. But let's not overanalyze an Atari game. So the object is to reel in as many fish as you can. The deeper the water, the more points each fish is worth. The two top rows are two points, two middle rows are four points, and the two bottom rows are six points. And the first one to reach 99 points wins. So it's actually not about how many fish you catch, it's about the point value of the fish you catch. I guess for the sake of overanalyzing things, let's just say that the higher value fish weigh more. Otherwise, how the hell are these guys determining who has the better fish? And I guess that means the bigger fish frequent the deeper waters. Alright, that's enough overanalyzing. So the idea is to hook the fish and reel them in, all the while avoiding the shark that's swimming just below the surface of the water. If the fish makes contact with the shark, then the shark scarfs it up and you have to try again. After getting a fish to bite, you'll start reeling them in automatically, and pressing the fire button will make you reel faster. And you can also steer the fish by shaking the joystick from side to side. All of this is to time it so the fish won't touch the shark on the way up. The curveball here is that only one player can be reeling a fish at one time. If you both have a fish hooked, then whoever hooked the fish first will get to reel while the other has to wait until the other fish is caught or eaten by the shark. There aren't many variations to the game. You can alter whether or not you have to precisely get your hook just under the fish's nose, or whether you just have to get near him with it. And you can have either or set up for each player individually. But that's it can't change the speed of the fish or the shark, although the shark will change speed periodically, but you should have the option to alter its range. Despite this lack of features and the general simplicity of the game, it's still a very enjoyable title, especially in multiplayer. Just the fact that they make a fishing game as fun as this on the Atari 2600 is a testament to the programmers, especially since this is actually better than a lot of fishing games on future consoles. I think